for calibration. The tonometer eye test measures the inner pressure of the eye and also known as the intraocular pressure. And the tonometer is carried out by the instrument called tonometer. Uh, that we can do by the two method as the indentation explanation. The basic principles is applied force which either flatten or indent the cornea. The ideal tonometer should give accurate and reasonable intraocular yeah. pressure. It should be convenient to use, simple to calibrate, stable from day to day and practice, and easier to standardize and free from the maintenance problem. Mm -hmm. So, the principle is pressure inside the sphere is equal to the force required to flatten its surface divided by the area of the flattening. So, but human eye is not the ideal sphere or dry, flexible, or thin. So, to modify the rule, and then W plus A is equal to PA plus B. And then the so the cornea resists flattening and the capillary attraction of the tear meniscus tend to put the tonometer towards the cornea. In the Goldman tonometer, these two force cancel each other uh, out of when the area of flattening is equal to uh, 3.06 uh, millimeter of diameter, and this causes minimal uh, displacement of the fluid in the eye. So how we do the tonometer tonometry? Simple, just uh, put one drop of proparacan uh, in the lower part of the conjunctiva. Ask patient to blink through three, four times, and after 20 seconds or 30 seconds, once the topical, uh, the eye is a topical anesthetic, then just uh, touch the cornea, just to maintain this the lateral canthus in the level, and just touch the cornea, and at that time you will get the Myers, and you can get reading also. Now just rotate that means the pressure is nearly 23. I, I got this in the end point. Now I will show you the another video. This is a prism. You can see this mass and I'm trying to make in the uh, proper alignment. This is a little thin. So I I told the patient to blink two, three times. Again, the fluorescent is uh, nicely uh, you can get here. This uh, Good Myers and uh, align this uh, inner part of the upper and lower uh, this Myers. So, false uh, low IOP will get in a too little fluorescein or thin cornea or cornea or with the dual estimulation and high interpretive pressure in the too much uh, fluorescein thick cornea and stiff cornea. So, how do we do the calibration? Calibration is done in the dial position of 0, 2, or 6 is equivalent to the 0, 20 or 60 millimeter, millimeter of mercury. So this procedure is only intended to verify the accuracy of the instrument. If the tonometer is inaccurate at any of this dial position, it should be returned to the manufacturer for recalibration. So I will again demonstrate with through the video. So this uh, rod, if this, this center point is a 0, then again it's a 2, 2 means 20 millimeter mercury. Then last, uh, the tip side is a 6, uh, you can see is a 60 millimeter mercury. Just put this uh, in the 0 position and start calibration. And the knob should be in the 0 also. And our focus is to see the 0 and uh, uh, towards the, our prism. And movement of the uh, movement of the prism is important. First forward, then this is little bit. Yes, now this tilted again in the uh, position two. Now, now you can see this. This means this uh, Goldman application has error. So I should send it for the uh, company or manufacturer. Same thing we can repeat in that uh, position 2 and uh, again it's a plus 2 or minus 2 if there is reading is there then it is good. Beyond that again uh, means it's, uh, it has error. So how do we clean the application tonometer? The same thing that uh, the Dr. Uh, sir Roydin sir explained. So Goldman application uh, prism is also uh, wiped with the gauze soak in 70% isopropyl alcohol and then dry before use. So what are the other things? We can do dry heat and mechanical cleaning with disposable wipes. Wipes with the gauze soaked in the alcohol or chemical like hydrogen peroxide or methiolate, uh, something ultraviolet rays. These are theoretical and gas sterilization. So many of the, these methods may be unreliable for the example uh, mechanical cleaning and impractical time consuming or damaging to the tonometer parts. 
So I should uh, be effective. Um, this this uh, station should be effective in uh, removing common offending organism like adenovirus, surface simplex, or HIV for the instruments. I should not damage the instruments parts, for example, like plastic light scenes of the gold prism. I should not uh, affect the pressure editing. So how we do the wipe? When a prepared uh, paid or gauge soaked in 70% isopropyl alcohol is applied to the tip of the prism for 10 seconds and then prism tip allowed to dry before use. This small video is hydrogen peroxide uh, and uh, you can see this bleaching powder 99 and this alcohol. You can uh, just take a three, uh, tissue whip wipes or rain dry and uh, just spray a little bit alcohol isopropyl alcohol and touch it for at least 10 seconds the 10 second or 15 seconds is enough for, for the sterilization and leave for the, the dry and after that either you want to use you can use it same thing you use, use for the bleaching or one is two tens of uh, in dilution and touch this uh, uh, mixture with the prism and dry it and wash it. So the common solution is uh, use at one is two ten dilution of household bleach and uh, the soak the prism for five to ten minutes between use. Air dry for the alcohol or irrigating tips with the saline and dry in case of the sodium hypochlorite or hydrogen peroxide. 